Yo ho everybody and welcome to another edition of Yinzer on Hockey. Before we begin, make sure you go down below, hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and make sure you click that little bell so you stay up to date on all the off-season happenings. <clears throat> so today I want to talk a little bit about um, the possibility of maybe the Pittsburgh Penguins moving Derek Broussard to left wing uh, in the upcoming season. Uh, with the recent signing of uh, Matt Collin to a one-year $650,000 contract for the Penguins that gives them five viable NHL ready centers um, including three that that would fight for the bottom two or the bottom six center role uh, with with Riley Shahan, Matt Cullen and Derek Broussard. Uh so there's been a lot of reporting and speculation that maybe uh, the Penguins would be in the market for one of the Big trade chips that are out there on the wing, uh, such as a uh, Max Pacioretty or Jeff Skinner of um, of Carolina. Uh, Jeff Skinner currently has uh, one year remaining on a five point seven two five million dollar deal, and Max Pacioretty has one year remaining at four point five million. The Penguins, in their current salary cap situation, have about seven hundred forty five thousand remaining with Derek Broussard carrying a $3 million cap hit, so you couldn't do just a one-for-one -one trade. There would actually, uh, there would obviously have to be other salary moved around to to accommodate one of those two players coming in to play wing. Um, so looking at the stats, uh, Derek Broussard last year for Pittsburgh played in 14 games, uh, three goals, five assists, and uh, was, was a plus one playing in that bottom uh, on the third line with Phil Kessel on his wing and usually uh, somebody like Brian Rust or, or Connor Sherry, somebody else on the other wing. Um, and uh, he ended up getting hurt towards the end of the season, missed uh, five games before going into the playoffs, never really looked 100% in the playoffs, so uh, maybe that contributed to his declining stats last year towards the end of the year. You never really know. Um, but a player... Going into his age 31 season, uh, making a drastic change like this, I, I'm curious to see how it plays out for him. Obviously, um, it's something that's been talked about, um, even within the coaching ranks. Uh, Jim Rutherford had alluded to it whenever they made the Colin signing that Colin has the capabilities to play wing and possibly uh, moving Derek Broussard to the wing, and you could see him possibly playing in the top six uh, at a left wing position, um, teaming up with Evgeny Malkin and Phil Kessel on that second line. Um, and, and just want to take a look at this and see if um, that's a better option for the Penguins than maybe trading for a guy like Max Pacioretty or, or Jeff Skinner. Max Pacioretty last year um, had one of his worst statistical seasons. 64 games played, 17 goals, 20 assists, 37 points, was a minus 16. Um, obviously, the injuries played a huge part in a little bit of his decline, as well as the overall makeup of the Montreal Canadiens as well. Just wasn't a very good team last year, so that would have contributed. But um, for his career, he has, looks like, about six seasons where he's been 30-plus goal scorer, um, you know, low 60s uh, point-wise, very productive player um, in the right situation. And if you put him on a line with, you know, like a Phil Kessel and Evgeny Malkin, you could see a guy like Pacioretty ending up in the 70 to 75 point range and possibly, you know, ending up in, in the 35 goal range again. So um, that would... Uh, Obviously, be a little bit of an upgrade over Broussard, but again, the the money doesn't line up in a in such a way um, that it would just be a one for one trade. Even though uh, Montreal is still desperately in the market for for the center ice position, uh, Jeff Skinner uh, last year, 82 games played, 24 goals, 25 assists, 49 points, with a minus 27. Um, again, Carolina. Offensively, was not a very good team. Didn't have a lot of scoring depth, even though they have some of the one of the best defensive cores in the league. Just um, hasn't really panned out. Um, the year prior, Skinner did have 37 goals, uh, which was a career high for him. 
So he's got the potential to uh, to really score a lot of goals. Um, but this one is even worse in regards to uh, the money value because he's got five point seven two five million left on his one year contract. Um, I would assume Pacioretty is more in the market for an extension, whereas I think you could get a guy like Jeff Skinner just on the one year contract. Where I think uh, Pacioretty is looking for more stability and um, a long term solution in, in the trade that Montreal is seeking. Um, I do think uh, Derek Broussard, with his ability defensively to play the game uh, from the center ice position, would translate well to left wing, um, which is why Pittsburgh, a lot of last year, played Carl Hagelin on the wing with Evgeny Malkin and Phil Kessel um, to add that extra defensive presence, and I think that would be a good addition for for that line to have a guy like Broussard, as well as having a second face-off guy on the ice, because Evgeny Malkin's line primarily takes offensive zone face-offs, and you want a guy that you, you're pretty sure-handed in the face-off circle, and I think Broussard would add that element as well. So, um... My thoughts is, is I like the idea of keeping Broussard on the roster, um, moving him to wing, and, and letting him develop at wing. Uh, not so much develop, but um, hone his game as, as a winger. Um, and you still have uh, Matt Cullen, who has experience playing on the wing that you can move around, um, and uh, and maybe even Riley Shahan moving up and down the lineup. Um, that's the luxury of the situation that the Penguins have right now. Um, With the versatility of these guys and the depth at the center ice position, it doesn't um, put them in a mandated position where they need to go out and get another scoring winger, even though they do lack depth um, at the uh, left wing position. So we'll see what what Jim Rutherford does going forward with, uh, with left wing. It may not be something that they decide to address until around the trade deadline, so... Let me know what you guys are, are thinking in the comments below. How do you envision the, the Penguins' lines looking this year? Um, would you like to see Broussard stay with the Penguins for another year? Would you like to see him trade him, try and get some value out of him since he's only got the one year left and it's probably going to be a little bit expensive to bring him back after next season? Um, don't forget, I am currently running a giveaway on the channel Make sure you sign up. Um, I'll leave a card in the video as well as the link in the description below to get to that video to make sure you guys are registered to win um, one of two um, Reebok replica jerseys. Um, Make sure you click like and subscribe on the video. Make sure you follow me on all the social media listed down in the description below. And until we see you again, have a good day.